midnight in the garden of good. No, let's not go there. Look at that. I think it's probably about to pop off some seeds. I would call him a shitty doo-doo fly, but right now, he's a pollinator now, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I don't know, man. Look at that. I left it alone for a couple of days, and it's already popping off seeds, man. This lettuce is not a joke, man. Whatever, man. Black Seeded Simpson. That's what I made my juice out of the other day. I don't know man I think it's too late I think after that I think they say after it's gone to seed it's a wrap so maybe I just let it rock or just avoid these things with the pods on them and then let them go and pop off and then I can collect my seeds yeah yeah made some juice out of that the other day that's where I cut it at it looks kind of brown and choppy and not growy. I think this is growing back. Maybe I don't know, but I am gonna do another like um, clean cut and see what pops off. You know, I think it probably would have been and grown faster than this if the little frost hadn't hit. So maybe if it do, you know, pop all the way off. That's getting real big. Even the little bitty ones down in there that they might get enough sufficient sunlight to pop some off too. I don't know. Can I get down up in there? Ooh, among the stalks. Alright, this is why I really came out here. Here we go. I'm going to try it again. I had it in there because they said that decoupage glossy finish stuff that I put on there is supposed to cure for a month. But then, like, I got some extra light in there in my living room and all of that. And I saw how it's cracked and peeled and popped because it was unevenly applied and glopped on there. So, <coughs> I want to see what's going to happen. It's going to rain and storm and all of that stuff. At least I did use the um, outdoor acrylic paint. It's supposed to be self-sealing anyway. So, maybe this is going to be countdown to when it fades. I wish I could have done it. And like the tones of blue and brown or whatever with like a little spackle of whatever but I guess this cool it still got the same type of vibe but not really I've been waiting I thought it was gonna kill me but once I saw it the other day or yesterday and I was like it's all cracked up I was like Psh, I might as well put it out there put it out there in the rain and see whether it's gonna pop off or not but that's about it the midnight garden up oh, there them go again all the pod people. The 24-hour lifespan. Uh, apparently, uh, snails or slugs or whatever, they eat them. Because I thought it was a slug breaking out of one, but that was not the case. That was not the case. Yeah. 24-hour lifespan of the pod people. I'm going to call them pod people. All right, but yeah. I'm going to clear cut some of this tomorrow and juice it with my little apple juice instead of my oranges. It wasn't terrible, but uh, I bought some apple juice because, you know, it's going to be super delicious if I use apple juice. And it worked uh, for all of the people who uh, want to poop in a healthy way. It super worked. Yeah. But yeah, that's what's up. But this, yeah, it's, it's seeded up quick. So I'll save these, I guess, when they pop off. So don't cut those. I could probably... I can see which ones are which, I guess. I don't know. Because it's the mescaline mix. So I don't... have to, I guess, look and see what's these little red. I get down there and investigate who is who. But these guys seem to have... Uh, they got their own agenda. It's popping. Thrive, survive to the next generation, and do it. There it is. Yeah, good fuzzy stuff. All right. I guess I'm not gonna chop down whatever is already got seeds popping off because I rather had a seed. Look at that little colorful fucker there. Oh man, if I quit cussing, man, I might uh. Now be my motherfucking self, bitch. 
Here we go. Yeah. All right, midnight garden. All right. All right, I'm going here and figure out what to do with the rest of my time before I go to sweep. Pineapple. I think it's doing okay. I was worried about it turning brown and stuff. But like I said, these are the same leaves that it's had since, you know, I got it from Kroger. So, that was two, two years ago, maybe three years ago. So, I've been trying to grow it for a minute. All right. Swiss chard popping up. See, that was part of it's supposed to be part of the latest vibe, too. So, I don't know. Even if I do clear cut this, and this lettuce is done for, which I don't think it is because it still got it still got leaves down here, right? Because that's still gonna grow. It's just that it's probably not growing as fast as I think it's growing. It's just real. It's a wilty kind of lettuce. It's like super soft. I was thinking like if you just let them grow all the way up, lettuce wraps. You know, it's super tender or whatever. Super tender. Cause like it, it really doesn't even hold up to salad dressing. Like if I'm being honest, it's really not great. It's not a crispy, super crisp lettuce. It seemed like it would be ideal for like lettuce wraps or something like that. Like if you don't want to use bread or something like that, cause they got big old wide leaves. You can wrap different stuff in it and all of that. And you can like make a sandwich type of vibe or a roll up type of vibe with it because it really does uh, wither, like super wither underneath the um, weight of a uh, dressing like Catalina or ranch or something like that and I put lemon juice in mine because I like lemon juice and uh, yeah even under a thinned out dressing it really can't really can't handle the weight yeah see like maybe these that looks more like that leaf lettuce yeah it's a leaf lettuce yeah it's not it's not super hearty or crunchy at all that's seven minutes to talk about shrubbery. Damn. <laughs>